Assalamu alaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. In the previous video, we already discussed about the neural type of frame. Okay, we have several frame. We have several uh, segment inside the frame. So for this video, we talk about the arising mechanism. Okay, in IEEE 802.11, the standard based on IEEE, uh, there are four cases for the addressing mechanism so uh, the four cases is defined by the value of two flag in the fc field to ds and from ts you can refer to this table to ds and from the ts so each flag can either zero or one so based on this uh, keys 0 and 1 so 0 power of 2 uh, sorry 2 power of 2 equal to 4 so we have 4 cases of addressing mechanism so the interpretation of the 4 addresses in the MAC frame depends on the value of the flag so address 1 is address for the next device address 2 is address of the previous device in from the source address 3 is address of the final destination station if it is not defined by address 1 and address 4 is address of original source station if it's not same address as address number 2 so based on this table we have four possible keys the first one we have 0 0 to ds is 0 from ds is 0 so this means that the frame is not going to a distribution system and it is not coming from a distribution system so the frame is going from one station in a bss to another the acknowledgement frame should be sent to the original sender based on this case one okay this ds is referred to the uh, distribution distribution system that we have discussed in the ess uh, architecture case number two we have zero one zero to ds from ds equal to one so this means that the frame is coming from a distribution system because from ds equal to one the frame is coming from an AP access point and going to a station. The acknowledgement ACK should be sent to the AP. Okay, the next point is case number three. So in case number three, we have one zero. To DS equal to one from DS equal to zero. So this means that the frame is going to a distribution system. The frame is going from a station to an AP access point. The acknowledgement is sent to the original station. In the last case number 4, we have 1, 1. So, 2 DS equal to 1, from DS also equal to 1. So, this is the case which the, des uh, the distributed system or the DS is also wireless so the frame is going from one ap to another ap in a wireless distribution system so it needs four addresses to define the original sender final destination and two intermediate so that's why we have address number one address number two address number three and address number four okay Further explanation, you can look at this figure. So, E is referred to the case 1 inside the BSS system. So, we have the BSS ID. So, this means E sent to the B. This frame E 
from A to B. Case number two, B. We have BSS and another BSS. So it has the distribution uh, system at here from DS. So this uh, frame come from this DS to the B. Okay, as we look at here. So destination address one, sending AP address two, and source address three. Okay, the next one, case number three. This one, we have BSS and BSS. So, A want to send to the B. So, it send from this BSS to the AP. Then, AP will forward to the B. And case number four is the wireless distribution system. So, it between AP to another AP. So, in this case, uh, station A inside the BSS with AP1 want to send to the station B in another BSS with AP2. So the process include the wireless distribution system from one DS to another DS. So that's all for the mechanism or addressing mechanism in the wireless. For BSS, it include the DS. And it include the uh, wireless if we talk about the AP to AP. So hopefully everyone able to understand why we need the four cases in addressing mechanism. So thank you and Assalamualaikum.